died after a long illness. He was 85 years old. All right, closer to home this afternoon. It is finally starting to warm up, as Ben mentioned. And as your family spends more time outside, you need to be aware and be protected against ticks. Paula Tutman caught up with a woman who's been living with Lyme disease for years. And Paula, living with that kind of illness really does change how someone lives their day to day life. It really does, and honestly, Lyme disease is no joke, and that's why this time of year and throughout the summer, you have to be extra vigilant in not only checking your pets, but checking yourself. Today is a good day for Dory Hill. Everything doesn't hurt like it usually does. With my lymphs all in my neck, we're all swollen. And so I went and got some lymph work done last night. She's been managing pain, illness, and discomfort associated with Lyme disease since age 17. The hands, her joints, and um, it's kind of like having rheumatoid arthritis, but it's not. Uh, brain fog, I'm doing really good right now with that, though. She manages symptoms by hooking herself up to a gadget that emits high-pitched sound frequencies. Only then does she have the energy to go outside and live life as one of the owners of Crooked Creek Farm Dairy in Bruce Township. Because when you're a farmer, pain cannot get in the way of your livelihood. Oh yeah, tastes a really good day. Lyme disease is a tick-borne illness transmitted by the deer tick, also known as the black-legged tick. The deer tick is round red with a black center. Dr. Jan Demeray is with Henry Ford Health System at the Henry Ford Macomb Health Center in Bruce Township. How dangerous is Lyme disease? Depends if you catch it in stage one, very easily treated with simple antibiotics, or beyond that you get heart and nerve involvement. She explains the tick transmits the disease by burrowing into your skin and basically doing an exchange. It feeds on your blood and deposits the spirochete into your system. You know you've been bitten by a deer tick if you develop a bullseye bruise around the bite site. It's got a darker rim, a central clearing. Sometimes in the very middle where the tick actually bit you, it might be a little bit blackish or dark purple. Or flu or arthritis-like symptoms. Your best bet is to have the tick with you in a plastic bag. You can go to an internet site or you can keep it, take it to your doctor's office, and they can send it to a lab for analysis of exactly what type of deer tick or tick that you found. Okay, and as you can imagine, checking for tick and even removing them from a beast like this is a real challenge, but also for yourself, Karen, there is so much to this. And so it's too much to really tell in this story. And so what my partner and uh, I, Justin, are doing is we're putting together uh, uh, an extra video. We're going to post it on our web platforms and social media. Talk to this amazing expert, uh, expert and entomologist from the University of Manitoba, Dr. Catherine Rashan, who actually allows a tick to embed in her own skin so she can show us the proper way to get it out. It's going to be a very important video that you want to be able to refer to throughout the summer. Give us about 45 minutes to finish that one up, and then we'll get it posted. All right, we look forward to that. We appreciate all that information. Very helpful. Thank you, Paula.